electrical needs for uranium enrichment program. This excerpt is from the beginning of Jafar the Jafar's briefing. He was the head of the Iraqi nuclear weapons program. Sir, I have an observation. We might possibly speak a little about the electricity from El Harfa station. I have two other observations, if you will listen to me, and we can speak on them, sir. Jaffer is being, he is walking on eggshells here. Dr. Bathroom, how do you say, Dr. Jaffer, if one ruins something, he avoids that which he ruins, and it is, and everybody laughs in the room. So, now with the electricity. Now, why is he saying that? Jaffer, as head of the nuclear weapons program, was originally put in charge of the concealment. He is a scientist. He's not a spook. He's not a thug. He likes to work in, in, in uh, laboratories. As a result, um, they had all this uranium enrichment uh, material for the electromagnetic isotope separation uh, procedure that wound its way into Abu Ghraib uh, military camp. David Kay's inspection got wind of this. <clears throat> I'm not sure how they got wind of it, but they did. Maybe there was an over overhead satellite shot that saw it and told them to go there. I'm not really sure what the details are. But they showed up, they got locked out, the troops came out and fired rounds in the air to back them off, and then a, a huge convoy of trucks with electromagnetic isotope separation equipment wound its way out the back door. They took shots of it, all right? They had pictures of this going out. Years later, they took a good look at the symbol on the door of one of the uh, trucks, and it was the 4th um, Special Republican Guards Battalion. 